Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is lecture number 16 on the solid state physics series. Today, we want to discuss about the Drude's theory. In this theory, we want to discuss the free electron gas in metal, then effective mass, drift current, mobility, and conductivity, all effect in metal, thermal conductivity, Lorentz number, and limitation on Drude's theory. All will be covered in this a single video. So, let's start. You can see this is the syllabus of the solid state physics, the uh, crystal structure, elementary lattice dynamic, magnetic properties of matter, dielectric properties of matter, all are covered in the last videos. Today, we want to discuss this uh, portion 5 that is today's theory. All the uh, portion file will be covered in this lecture. In the upcoming session, we will be covered up elementary band theory and superconductivity also. First thing is that the free electron gas in the metal. That means uh, uh, first we want to discuss about the classical approach, then we will discuss uh, with the quantum approach. In classical approach, that uh, free electron, free electrons means the electron which are uh, outermost. Suppose this uh, this uh, electron, uh, this is nucleus and the electrons moving. Outermost electron is the uh, free electron, this is the free electron, right? These free electrons can be act as a ideal gas particle because, because Drude considered, this was by Drude, considered that the free electron cannot interact with the ions. These are the free, these are not interact with ions. That means the potential uh, energy of this electron also zero because there is no interaction potential energy arises due to the interaction because the free electron has no interaction with the ions that's why the potential energy of the free electron must be zero so these are the basic funda of free electron gas that is the free electron can be treated as the ideal gas you know in the kinetic theory of gas the ideal gas particle have no interaction that's why no potential energy within the ideal gas particle similar to that one here also the free electron have no potential energy only kinetic energy present because they are interaction taken as a zero actually this one not zero there is some interaction because of the coulomb interaction but the consideration to calculate this uh, phenomena uh, do consider there is no interaction between the ions with the free electron? The assumption is written here you have no interaction, potential energy zero, free electron are randomly move in all direction, there is no limitation, and free electron can consider as an atom molecule of perfect gas. So, obey the perfect gas law. So, this is the funda of this free electron gas model of the material. So, free electron can be treated as the ideal gas. By this Dude's theory can be explain the Ohm's law, can explain the conductivity that is the electrical conductivity is proportional to 1 by T, T is the temperature. Then third one is the Woodman Frank's law that is the K by sigma, K is the thermal conductivity, sigma is the electrical conductivity is proportional. That means ratio of the thermal conductivity with the electrical conductivity is proportional to the temperature in the Kelvin scale. Fourth one is metal are opaque, metal are less charge. These all are can be explained by today's theory. First, we go to the some derivation to prove this uh, relation. So, if you consider this is a metal. Uh, uh, within this metal there are, are ions and the electron are free. So, the acceleration is nothing but force per mass, force is E into E by M. So, this uh, uh, if you integrating, the velocity will be like that. But at T equal to 0, velocity is 0, that is why the constant is 0. So finally, the velocity will be like that. And you know the kinetic energy of free electron is half mv square and there is no potential energy. So, according to kinetic theory of gas, you know the kinetic energy of the gas molecule will be 3 by 2 kBT. So, if we compare these two things, you will be, up, um, you will be get this relation. 
and using this relation while you find out the average velocity of electron you know average velocity of electron can be find out and if you put this value of mv uh, so if you integrating and then put this value of mv finally will be obtained this average velocity of the free electron then go to the current density is NEV average put this value average you will be get these things and this is nothing but j equal to sigma e which is the ohm's law and this will be the established by this free electron theory also and where the sigma is the conductivity is written here and you can see this conductivity also uh, inversely proportional to t there are also two phenomena is discussed here. now the third one is the if you consider the thermal conductivity there is a heat transfer here so the amount of heat <coughs> transfer is proportional to cross section area this area temperature difference between these two point time so there is a proportional constant k which is known as coefficient of the thermal conductivity we consider the temp uh, area is one and unit time so q, q is equal to k dt dx and this uh, will be obtained from the kinetic theory of gas you know from the kinetic theory of gas you will be obtained this relation and d e equal to 3 by 2 kvt so d dx is like that uh, so q is this one so if you compare this to q you will be obtained this expression that is the thermal conductivity so if you ratio the thermal conductivity with the electrical conductivity finally you obtain this expression and here you can see k by sigma is proportional to t and which is nothing but which one French law. So these are all proved using the classical theory of Dudes. And opacity of the metal that means why the metals are opaque, light cannot transfer it because uh, when the light comes to the metal, the uh, energy of this light absorbed by the vibrational electron or this free electron and the private. So all energy has absorbed. That's why that's not um, <coughs> transmit. That's why uh, metal is opposite. And why these are luster? That's mean why this uh, 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 emits light because uh, when the light incident on the metal, they absorb the electron free electron. And after uh, when absorbed, the electron comes to the higher energy state. When it's reduced to its lower energy state, it's released some energy in light which is the cause of luster and the drawback you know <coughs> the um, free electron theory actually says uh, about the free electron uh, theory or the uh, today's theory actually says the properties of pure metal it cannot explain the uh, property of semiconductor or insulator and it also cannot explain why the insulator cannot conduct because of the free electron theory it uh, can be uh, it, it may conduct but this are not explained here next is the quantum approach uh, so we discuss classical approach now we want to discuss about quantum approach and which also known as the Sommerfeld theory uh, first we uh, consider 1d and then we will be move into 3d for mode uh, 1D, here the basic uh, modification with the Drude is that that oversimplified. Drude oversimplified that there is a no interaction, but actually there is interaction. So consider interaction. And since there is no interaction, potential energy was zero. But here presence of um, pot uh, interaction, there, here the presence of interaction. Uh, so there is a potential energy and the potential energy is like that within the metal there is potential energy zero and um, outside the metal outside the metal potential is infinite so uh, if you draw their potential graph will be like that so use this Schrodinger equation using this potential graph time in independent Schrodinger equation you will be obtained this solution and use the boundary condition at x equal to zero psi equal to zero and x equal to l psi equal to l so finally obtain this uh, expression you know very well about this expression in quantum mechanics so the normalized constant can be also find out finally you obtain the wave function which is like that and the energy is uh, is written here you can see this energy is nothing but h square k square by 2m h square k square by 2m finally put this value of h square k square 
because this k is written here so this k is n pi by l so put this value of k square you will be obtain the energy of nth orbit and what do you mean by fermi level fermi level the most field energy level at the absolute temperature is called fermi level that's mean if there is energy levels are present and the uppermost that uh, which are filled up is known as the fermi level and the uh, fermi level that's uh, the, up to that the energy and the particular field uh, this energy level is known as fermi energy level and these are the put this value will be obtained this expression this half is um, present here because uh, in, in a single state there is two particle can occupy so the total energy is nothing but 2 into summation of this one this is the general formula use this formula finally you obtain this expression okay this is the total energy next is density of state density of state you know the number of state uh, occupy within a energy gap and with um, per, per, per unit volume okay that's why this is called density so So the uh, energy is value is like that if you derivative so this density of state will be dn by d okay due to spin consideration you need to multiply it by 2 so finally you obtain this expression and you know the n equals to like this so n equals to this one finally you obtain density of state expression is like that so if you uh, uh, this is inverse proportional if you reduce this energy value density of state will be increases and uh, if you consider the three dimensional approach then uh, the solution will be like that comparing one dimension and the plane wave equation is this so using this boundary condition finally you obtain value of kx similarly ky kz so energy value is like that kx square plus ky square plus kz square so this is the energy of k uh, energy of k level so the maximum surface the, there is three dimension that's why this is surface not level so the maximum surface above, uh, on which these uh, particles are occupied this is known as the fermi surface so the surface up to the state of field in zero kelvin temperature mind it in a higher temperature this is defined so fermi energy is like that uh, just before one so volume in small k space is this one so number of state is this so kfq will be obtained from this relation finally you obtain this uh, fermi level this number and this velocity electron velocity and for density of state for this three dimension is similar one just taking this you will be obtained this expression okay so i think clear about this thing so you just go through this expression and the average kinetic energy will be obtained just to do this calculation you will be obtained 3 by 5 f EF0. This is very important question for exam purpose. Next is effective mass. Effective mass means when the electrons move in the uh, when the electron moves within the metal as a free electron consider. So within metal, its uh, mass is changed because of the interaction because it's uh, it's under a potential energy. Potential energy means there is an interaction. Due to this interaction, the mass that's motion will be changed that is the effective mass and the effective mass uh, formula can be derived as that so group velocity and this is e equal to h nu so this is h omega so vg equal to d omega by dk so this one is acceleration equal to this dv dt so put this value of v will be obtained this expression and this is ddt so change into dk so dk by dt and dk by dt is nothing by f by h square because e equal to f ds so finally obtain this one so f by a equal to this one so this is the effective mass actually force by area you will know that is mass so that's why this expression treated as a effective mass drift current mobility and conductivity actually drift current means when the current flow due to the external electric field and diffusion means there is a uh, gradient in the charge is the diffusion current so this is drift current and this drift current is proportional to the applied electric field and this proportional constant known as the mobility 
so mobility is nothing but the velocity originated due to a uh, single or unit applied electrically the deep current is nothing but charge per time so charge is e time is this and total charge small is the uh, number density per uh, number per unit volume that's why you need to multiply by volume a into l l is the distance so l by t is vd so finally j equal to sigma e uh, so obtain and sigma equal to m important question uh, relation okay Hall effect in metal, it's important part. That means you know from the Lorentz force when there is a current flow, electron move here. And if you perpendicularly apply a magnetic field, there is a force which is perpendicular both of E and B and gives you the uh, motion like that. That is the electron uh, passes tends to this one. This is negative, so this will be positive. So there is a charge separation. That means they are produce a voltage which is known as the Hall voltage and so this is the fourth and the Hall voltage is nothing but this one <coughs> so Hall coefficient is E by JB which is 1 by N so Hall resistivity is E by J so this one e equal to sigma J equal to sigma A compared this one Thermal conductivity, which already discussed in the previous side, so thermal conductivity equal to k equal to half n u lambda. And Lorentz numbers, you know, that is in this previous lecture, sigma by uh, k by sigma is constant, and this constant actually known as the Lorentz number, and whose value is 2.23 10 to the power minus 8 watt. Um, and this can be uh, proved another method also. So you, I think, you can do this. Next is the limitation of Dudas theory. Uh, there are various limitations. Number one is the I cannot explain the metal semiconductor, etc. And it cannot explain the insulator why insulating. And it could not explain uh, Compton effect, photoelectric effect, blackboard radiation. And it could not explain the specific heat of metal. Failed to explain superconducting state and the preventing product. So all these things are you need to consider and this is the limitation of this theory so you solve these two questions which asked in previous year this is all about me and this is my contact detail and this is my youtube channel details go to the same you will be different physics some mathematics like this session if you learn something from share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel also already subscribe thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of our computer so take care